Let's take a look at how to create a custom wooden item. In this case, I'm gonna make some coasters on the X-Tool S1 laser cutter, which you can see here. So I'm gonna walk you through the whole process, show exactly how I make this, and we'll see the end result here. But first, here's my laser cutter. Um, X-Tool is kind enough to send this to me, so thanks for that. And you can see it's a big item here. We got quite a large surface area, 40 watt laser, so we can both cut and engrave on a variety of materials. In this case, we're gonna use a three millimeter basswood, which I find to be a really good basic material for laser cutting and engraving. I've got this set up with a honeycomb um, underneath here, so it makes it a little bit easier to cut um, without it being right on a surface. And then I've also got the air assist set up here and on my automatic setting. I have a nice long tube coming off of the smoke port on the back and eventually going out my window. So that's my basic setup here. And then I've got this plugged into a computer over on a, uh, a desk that's connected with USB. So here's the computer and you can see on here, um, I've created my basic design. And so for this, it's very simple. To make a coaster, I literally just used the shape tool here and I uh, went ahead and got a circle, and then I drew a big circle on here. So I can show you generally how that would look. Um, I've already done it here, but I can go to this, get basic shapes, take a circle. We're gonna go over here, it's gonna make one for us. We can physically move this around on the canvas, drag to whatever size we want. We can also specify an exact size, which is what I did to make these four inch, which are perfect for a coaster. Now this is a silly coaster showing words that ChatGPT overuses. Um, I'm selling these on my Etsy shop. So basically I just um, took the text tool here and I wrote a bunch of those words out. I had a list in advance and I changed up the font. So I typed them in here, whatever I wanna type. So I'll say like, hi, just so we can see how this looks. Um, and then I chose different typefaces, choose a random one here. And then I rotated these around a little bit so that they had a cool um, kind of like different angles on there. And I set these inside of the circles. So that was my first step, creating my design. Then for each of these, I specified exactly what I wanna do with it. So I selected the circles and over here, I chose cut because I wanna cut them out along those lines. So basically that circle becomes the shape of the, of the coaster. I don't wanna just engrave it, I wanna cut it. Now for each piece of text, I chose it and I went back over here and I chose engrave and I chose a power setting. In this case, I do 35%, the default I believe, was 30, it just wasn't quite dark enough. So I wanted a little bit darker, a little bit more sort of, a, of a embossed feel on that. So I went for 35%. And I did that for every one of these pieces of text. And then I just basically copied the whole thing and I pasted it a bunch of times because I'm gonna make a bunch of coasters in one run. Since again, you know, the basswood is pretty big. I can fit a good amount on it. So that's my basic design. You can also import images, you can do a bunch more, but you can just create something really cool and simple, like a coaster, again, by using that circle with cut, any words you wanna put on it with engrave, test the power setting, and then we're good to go on the design. Now our next step on here is gonna be getting the actual laser cutter ready. So let's grab our material. So again, I'm gonna use this custom um, basswood here. This is three millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the laser cutter here. I'm gonna align it so that it's nice and even on there. And I, I know I'm starting at three inches here, but I'm gonna show you how to actually mark the boundaries of the material that you are working with. And that basically lets you design exactly what you want and know it's gonna, gonna show up exactly where you need it. It's so one of the nice things with the S1 is that it, it actually knows where the laser module is. Um, so you can actually do that marking process. So I'm gonna start by positioning our little guiding cross here, which is just a visible laser. This isn't cutting anything. And the very upper left corner of my material. Now back in the laser software, I'm gonna choose start marking. Um, and I'm gonna say a rectangle processing area. And I'm gonna say start marking. Now I'm gonna return over here to my laser cutter and I'm gonna press the button on here once. 
It's gonna make a nice loud beep, and that's marking the upper left. Now we're gonna just carefully, physically move this down to the lower right. We're gonna get as close as we can with that visible X. Press the button again. Let's come back over here to the computer. And as you can see, we've marked our, a uh, basically a square, the square of that basswood that we put in. And this is nice because again, you can work on any um, kind of dimensions of material just by marking the upper and lower corner. When I'm done with this marking, I'm gonna say done. And that's gonna add it. It's actually there already because I've done it before. But if I hadn't, this black square shows me the exact boundaries of the material. And again, that way I can position whatever I want, anywhere that I want on here. So just for fun, you know, now that we know we've got this extra space, um, I'm just gonna put this over here and I'm gonna say in text, like, hi, uh, audience. Let's change up the size. Hi, audience, positioned over there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and say engrave Again, bumping the power up to 35%. Eh, we'll say 36, just for fun. And there it is. It's now within the boundary that we set of that marking step. So we know that it will show up in exactly the right spot on that basswood. Now, let's go ahead and do our final thing, which is we want to mark the exact uh, distance from the laser diode down to our material. Um, and so I'm first going to select the material, 3 millimeter basswood, plywood, A4, a bunch of materials in here. This is the one I'm going to work with. It's going to put in a basic distance, but we want to get it exact. So I'm going to go back to the laser cutter and I'm going to go ahead and position this just over, you know, about the middle of our material. It might vary a little bit across the material. Coming back to the computer, we're going to go ahead and press this little button here, auto measure. And it's going to go and drop down. You can see what it's doing over there. It's going to drop down, measure the exact height. It's very, very precise down to the level of millimeters. So now we have our exact height entered in there. And um, we're going to go ahead and get started now with our actual cutting process. So our first step, we're going to close the lid. This does protect from any scattered uh, laser you know, light or anything, which is great because you can watch it. You don't have to wear goggles with it. Um, it will not operate if the lid is open, so you don't have to worry about forgetting. Coming back to the computer, we've got our design good to go. Now I'm just going to say process down in the lower right here, and that's going to go ahead and send the design over to the cutter. And that might take a little time. It's going to show me the actual design um, that it's going to do here, and I'm going to press start. So it's sending the file. Okay, that was pretty quick. So it beeps, lets us know that we're ready. We're gonna go back over here, do a final check, just make sure, okay, we've got our fire extinguisher handy. We've got everything ready to go. Our lid is closed, our smoke vent is ready, and we're just gonna press the button to start. And there it is, it's gonna go and start with the engraving process. And it's gonna engrave, as you can see here, the words first start to see those words for those uh, coasters beginning to form on the top part there. And you want to keep an eye on it. You don't want to walk away from it while it's cutting. Um, I haven't had any problems with it, you know, starting to uh, catch fire or anything, but especially with flammable materials, you do want to just stay close, keep an eye on it. And if there's any problem, there is an emergency stop button over on the side. So just to be aware of that. But you can see it's a uh, very precisely, very beautifully engraving on there. Um, the exact design that I created in the exact spot that I want. So depending on the complexity of your design, it moves pretty quickly, but this one will probably take maybe 18, 20 minutes. So let's come back in a couple minutes. Okay, you can see here after probably about 15 minutes of engraving, we've got most of the designs, the engraved designs. We've got our high audience that's indeed engraved nicely on there. Um, and it's just finishing up the last bits of this last coaster here. And I'll just point out over here, this is the end. I added an extension to my um, smoke vent and you can see it's venting right out the window. If I'm quiet for a sec, you can hear the fan blowing. And that's nice because you can use it indoors. Um, I use it in the garage. I wouldn't take it fully into the house because there's just some smoke that comes out still, but this vents everything right out the window, which is great. 
Okay, so now that it's finished in graving, you can see it's gonna to switch to cutting, and that's gonna be the full power of the laser, and it's gonna cut right through that basswood. Now, it's pretty dramatic when it's doing that, and you can see it's also gonna create quite a lot more smoke. So this is where having that enclosed design for the S1 is fantastic, because all that smoke is in there, it's getting blown away by the air assist, and then pulled in by that vent fan, and just vented right out of the house. And again, it's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job. And you can see it's got quite a lot of power with a 40 watt laser. It can cut much thicker material than what I'm working with here, but um, it's super precise, as you can see, cutting out, making those posters into actual posters. So this is the last step. It usually does the engraving first and then the cutting. And we'll give it a moment to finish its job here. Okay, so now it's done, um, but I'm not gonna open the lid just yet. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time because I want that fan to have a bit of time to pull out any remaining smoke. You can see there's a little wisp still happening in there. Um, again, I like to give it some time just to get as much of that vented as possible because the wood will continue to smoke a little bit after it finishes. Now that that's done, it's the moment of truth. We can go ahead and open the top on here. The fan's gonna keep running for a bit. We're just gonna carefully slide this out of the way, and then we can go ahead and lift up our basswood here, and our beautiful coasters will drop right out. You can see my high audience engraving is nicely engraved on that. But here are our coasters, perfectly cut, nicely engraved. You get maybe a little burn around the edges, especially on the backs. The air assist will definitely help with that. Um, but overall, it's very clean, very nice, um, dark engraving on there and perfect, perfect cutting. So there we go. That's how we create a wooden item. You can imagine you could do a whole lot more with this than coasters. You can cut out different designs and shapes. You can put in um, images if you want to do that using the same techniques of marking the, the dimensions and setting the height distance you can engrave on all kinds of flat wooden items or other materials like i like to do cutting boards for example exactly the same process anything that's got a nice big square or rectangular wooden surface the same exact process is going to work great for that and you can engrave again just by setting exactly the design you want and following the steps that i showed here so thanks again to x tool for sending me this awesome laser cutter i've been making a ton of these different coasters Great for making personalized gifts too, because you could obviously swap out the uh, design and put in like somebody's name or a holiday or whatever you want to do on there. And here we go. We've got this lovely stack of finished wooden coasters.